Guys, no shade. All love here today. <laughs> the week is almost over and we are set to wrap it up mm -hmm. with another exciting edition of Entertainment Splash. Very correct. We are back for the last leg of the show this week. We know the Friday attitude is always distinct. We do anyhow because oh, it shit. is called We Can Be Avia. You can be Avia. Show it is. Now, all of your Friday flavors are in queue this afternoon. So the weekend just got started and we're glad that you're a part of it. Now, join the conversations on our socials. We're at TVC Connect in the hashtag eSplash on TVC. It is your girl, Arika, the only one with the dimples. Now, wow. If I not get dimples tomorrow now, um, well, you really want to do But God well, will change my story. You, you have to, you have to. I mean, that is popping. Chop knocks. Oh. No, 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 no. It's on that bridge, you can't. I was going to do the dimples. So you say, the no, one with the dimples from on that bridge. No, uh, uh, why do you want dimples? <laughs> so you're the one, only one that is popping. So I'm melanin <laughs> popping. <laughs> Kayefi, oh, sorry. Kalisi vibes. Get sorry. out! Oh, the first was your name. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so it's your girl, it's your home girl, it's your girlfriend oh next door. It's the host with the most right here. And it's the jewel in the crown. My name is Honey Forest. Thank you so much for joining us. All right, guys, my <laughs> name is Paula Dele, and like I always say, welcome aboard. Hmm. Now, here's what we have planned for you on this wonderful Friday edition. There's entertainment news coming up very soon, then celebrity birthday shout-outs, then Rewind, where you get a quick history lesson of today in entertainment history. And there's also Tweetville, where I will take you through some Tweetville humor and savagery. Yes, we'll have to articulate is perform live on today's performance Friday edition, then there will be day to five where we'll be finding out, yes, a that thing stuff. that you really want to know today. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, later on the show, we will show some appreciation on the True Tough segment. Then we'll bring you a recap of all that you might have missed in the news. Then we'll take some selfie requests for the week. And of course, we'll wrap things up with our Friday chit chat yeah. segment. Yeah, we'll be talking a bit about the week, so I'm looking forward to that. And I think it's just time to get it started, yes. shall we? Yeah, yes. all right, let's do it. So we'll be back with the news very very shortly. Please. Wow, what's going on? I don't know what's going on. But, you know, old age. That's what's happening to you? Yes. It's not your lucky day? No, it's not. So you know that you have off days and you'll be abusing on the post for you? Ah, no, on the post used to pay me to my scholar, my Because she'll do a dance with it. Because she'll not do... Um, <laughs> and I'm like, what would they say? <laughs> don't so, worry, enjoy it. Do you understand? <laughs> now you so, make me laugh. <laughs> That's what she does. <laughs> That's the only dance. <laughs> I should do like this. But really, do yes, I, yes. Do I enjoy it? Eh? Does it sweeten my belly? It's okay. Yes, on, on <laughs> it. All right, guys, let's get into the instruments news. Yes. yes. So, Kayefi Live in concert, it was all fun and excitement as fans of culture and live music was treated to such as the just concluded Kayefi Roots and Rhythm concert, which held at Freedom Park, Lagos. Instrument Splash was on ground to capture some of this moment. Take a look. Hey, hey, people, it's your girl, Fala Dele. And I'm right here at Kayefi's Roots and Rhythm concert. I'm so excited. First of all, I'm a big Kayefi fan and I've been for years. But also, Nice is going to be performing, um, Q Dot is going to be performing, and a lot of up and coming acts as well. It's going to give them the opportunity to get heard. So I'm looking forward to discovering some talents here tonight as well and just having a good time in general. So, guys, you want to be here right now. This is where you want to stick right now because it's going to be lit, I promise you. Lots of good music. Good vibes and good people, and I'm already having so much fun. So let's kick things off. This is East Flash. Seen on stage tonight. Well, I'm actually here because of Kayefi, and um, I'm sure she's going to blow our minds tonight. She's a fantastic um, musician, and she's been doing that for a, for quite some time. And I've always me, I've always supported her. I'm a big fan of Kayefi. I mean, she launched her uh, album uh, being here about um, a year ago, thereabout, and it was good. And she has a particular track that I remember made me cry. What's that track? I think it's about mm, her mother. Very beautiful song. And um, yeah, that really touched my heart. So she's someone who strikes a chord every time. I'm so happy. I was surprised when I went out and I saw the crowd. I was like, wow, oh, for me. Oh, I'm so grateful. We're going to be using a lot of singles this year and videos too. So watch out for your baby. Yeah. <laughs> My mama must not catch me doing this. This music is building up a fever in me. I try so hard to stop myself, but I can't seem to help myself. Mokbe ho, I've lost my self control. Hey, hey, oh my 
gosh, you guys, I've had so much fun tonight. Like, I really connected with my roots and did some butter dancing. Yells, yells. Oh, so much fun at Roots and Rhythm here tonight in celebration of Kaefi, such an awesome talent, amazing singer, and of course, a beautiful performer. Guys, it's time for me to go though and have some more fun while you guys continue with the show. My name is Fola Dele. Until we see you at the next event, Kaefi. And now I'm here. Like, so Skyfi is somebody I really, really love. I love the too. fact that, you know, she it's goes to our roots every time and it is just well titled Rhythm nice. and Roots or Roots and Rhythm. Yeah, so yeah. it's so fantastic like that. I mean, I, I liked the remix of Pomile by yeah. Reminis. I love other songs. I love the fact that she chants, she does the Ewe yes, thingy. Yes, the and Ewe that, uh, well, I don't know if she's still signed to Aidekaba. Aidekaba, no. does, does he still have that? No, uh, so she's, she's not on that yet. I mean, after a, a few years, it's been a few years since they, you know, stopped that surprised. official. But he actually came. As oh, well, wow. yeah, nice. Uh, quite a number of them were supposed to be there, and you know they ended up showing up, Jeez. so that was good. So, so I think they still have a good working yeah. relationship, but just not. And, and I have signed to them, Kaifi, and she is a wonderful being. She really yeah. is. She's a lovely person. And she person. reaches out. Yes, she does. She does. She's a lovely person. It was it was a good show. I mean, she's fantastic live as she does sound. Mm. She sounds as good recorded, but of course she's great live. The dancing, the butter, you know, all that. She all that. is. Uh, oh, she uh, is there. Yeah. Like it's really roots and for really. every thespian, it's like. Kaifi is that person that, I mean, embodies everything. Do you understand? Yeah. She's really good. She dances well. Like the whole butter. I saw the last time I saw her doing the whole Atilogu thing. Mm -hmm. um, yes. And then she was chanting. She was, oh, God. My, sorry, goosebumps. Goosebumps. I will move on. I'm a huge fan. By we the noticed. Way. Like, I everybody I knows that. Watching. And if she's not watching, I hope that somebody just gets to show tell us. Her that somebody tell wants her. To cry. I'm yeah. like, I'm in love with you. <laughs> All right, moving on to the next story. Even Jagede announces she's single and ready to mingle. Now, Nollywood actress Yvonne Jagede has given her admirers the green light that she's available to start a relationship again. Now, the actress and mother of one made this known via her Instagram page where she shared a post to make the announcement saying, and I quote, special announcement. If you have, to, if you have toasted me before and I told you I'm in a relationship, please come back. Atilo Atide, end of quote. <laughs> well, some think she's just joking like I do, but we can never tell because if you would recall, her married to rapper turned actor a bounce hit the rocks a few months ago over infidelity issues. Few months, by the way. Okay, and so she... if somebody says that she is single and ready to mingle, mm. I'm not a fan of uh, if a relationship is not working or if a marriage is not working. And you know that it's it. not even, you know, uh, going forward. And then you just stay there. Mm. <laughs> um, open shop. Like, we are open. Uh, wow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, of course. For like the stuff, you know. We you are know. Open for business. Yes, they're open for business. So you open a game, you know, people can call me. I, yeah. But then she can, she, I, I'm sure she has the files on the table. Yeah. So she just flipped through those yeah. files. I mean, that's what we do. We just flip through the files and you see, oh, who's that? Next. You. I don't even know why people think she's joking. I mean, she has a right to. Oh, I saw a picture of her and a bounce um, recently at a, at a. So uh, it's even possible that they're. So, I mean, yeah, they're co-parents co to a child. Okay, so it's possible so. that they're doing a civil co-parenting thing okay, and they're not fighting. They're not okay, dramatic okay, about it. Okay. But <laughs> because when I saw the picture, I was really hopeful. I'm like, oh, thank God. Uh, I don't think that something would be about maybe they're still trying to work it out and then she'll put that kind of thing out. It feels insensitive that she would do that yeah. if they're trying to because patch I things up. Something like that. People are saying, ah, mommy and daddy, mm. this is, you know how people... They're mommy and daddy. They're it's just not husband and wife, Abby. Exactly. It's they're okay. Xavier's mommy and daddy, so it's okay. Yeah, I it's, okay. Well, it's okay. Enjoy live your life, live your best life. You know, some people will say, oh, uh, well, the marriage just ended. At least let it do this, let it... Do. She's good. She wants a new relationship. Let her move on, let her be happy. Your happiness is your responsibility, as I say all the time. Yeah. So, so yeah. I know you're pretty open-minded, Honeypot. Would you guys ever put out this kind of post if you are ready to mingle? Like it depends on how I feel at that point. Okay. Um, it, it depends. I, I, say, I would say that I'll put it out as a joke. Like the way she did? Yeah, the way she did. <laughs> but not like... Please, I'm, no, so, now, I'm single to a stupid. No, please. the way she did, would you would you put it out like that? Uh, it's just a normal post now. It can be jokingly. Okay, it depends on my mood, but it's not like I want everybody to be in my business. Mm. In as much as I come on air, I am an OAP, I am a broadcaster. I do not really like my business to be, okay. uh, especially no, when know. it comes to relationship. Yeah. So I don't know. I, I salute people who do that, or maybe your husband or your boyfriend is kissing you, and then you put the whole thing out and say, "Baby, now what do you?" Uh, <laughs> I cringe. I'm like, shake, <laughs> wow. I, shake, I am, I'm shake, because I saw someone do that. Oh. I'm trying to remember who. I'm going to call. Is it me? 
Oh no, it wasn't you. Oh, I'll try. no, I like it, but I say I cringe. I'm like before. I can't do it. I can't before, just, before, before, no. I can't handle it too. I can't. I mean, I, I salute people. And I you were saying people. that I was cringing. I salute people. Oh, so <laughs> Guys, let's just move it's on. It's okay. I tried to remember the person. I'll give it to you. Don't worry. Oh, well, for okay. that All right, guys. Moving swiftly <laughs> along to our final story. Nick Cannon shades Didi. Yes. Hmm. Speaking of shade, American entertainer Nick Cannon has weighed in on the controversy surrounding music mogul Didi's rumored relationship with Laurie Harvey, who happens to be over 20 years younger than him. Nick Cannon, who is 38 and was once married to Mariah Carey, um, you know, who was 11 years older than him, actually, if we remember well, made this known during a recent interview that was centered on relationships with age difference. Whoa. All right, so neither Didi, who is 49, nor Laurie, who is 22, have publicly confirmed whether or not they are dating, but the pair has been spotted together multiple times and even recently vacationed with her parents, Steve and Marjorie Harvey, in Italy. Mm. So, guys, here hmm. we go again. Now, Nick Cannon, <coughs> in that interview, he was like... Ah, you know, trying to say, look, it's not really my place to say, oh, but if that was my daughter, I would be heartbroken, which I find to be double standards because you dated Mariah Carey, mm -hmm. who is 11 years older, or is it because her own is 27 years older that it makes it such a big deal? That's, of course, if any of the rumors are true because it's not confirmed, and there are rumors even going around that she was dating um, Didi's son before, who is, I think, 25 or so, that she was because they were spotted partying in February together, um, her and Didi's son. So there were also rumors that, were they dating? Have you now moved on to his dad? Oh. What's going on with that? We don't it's know. And then the vacation with her parents. Is this a family thing? So the thing is, and I don't know what the family looks like. Maybe they, mm -hmm. they're poor or they're rich. Because if they're poor, I know that poverty can actually cause some things. Um, the, the girl. girl oh, uh, Steve Harvey now. Nah. Oh, Steve Harvey. Steve Harvey now. Nah. Oh, no, 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 no. So we won't even go there. Yes. So now let's move on. So I, I will not be part of if you dated the, the son and then you're moving to the father. Yeah. But see, <laughs> if a 78-year-old comes to me and I like him, I love him. Faladeli. Give them. Faladeli. Give them. Who's not dead to me? Just like. <laughs> I don't care. Like, you know, if I am not a teenager, yeah, 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 like yeah. I am not a teenager, that is, or the girl is not a teenager, mm -hmm. people get married at the 22. age of 22. Yeah. Yeah. She's an adult. So, I mean, <laughs> excuse me. Deal. Okay, okay. So I, I'm not a part of us because somebody is way older. If I enjoy the company of that person, if that person is my friend, the person is so pleasant, I love it, the person yeah. is kind to me. Yeah. Ah, ah, what is remaining? Okay. I was going to say the same thing, the exact same oh, thing. Yeah. yeah so. so at 22, would you have, if a guy that was, say, 50, because did is 49, I did have someone that was 18 years older than me. You before? Yeah. You so we Wait, okay. did your parents know? <laughs> Well, you no, no, I'm asking, quiet. No, applies here because they were vacationing together. So let's even say it's true. No, they didn't know. But I mean, I, we, we're going to get to that level where I would take him home and say, this is it. But Your dramatic mother that we know. I know I that we will do a lot of Yoruba film, but it's huh. OK. Because but, but but here in Nigeria, I, 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 what I'm going to say is, see, there's sometimes that you can't connect with people in your, in your age range. Yeah. I don't know, within your age range. Because um, we ladies, we grow faster than the guys in our you know, yeah. age range. So, so if I'm not attracted to someone in my age gap or within my age gap, and I'm attracted to someone who's 10 years older, maturity, this, the way these people will handle you, you would understand that you cannot be, you, I, I don't know, they, 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 they Put your mind in a place where things are just different. You understand life differently. So for me, it's and handle, so for me, it might not you, be about like, age. It might not be about age. It might the be maturity, about the maturity level of maturity. Everything is there. And if, as she said, if you love the guy and he understands you, he's kind to you. What else are you looking for? Age is nothing but a number. But some people will come for you, for me now and say, oh, during the whole Regina Daniel situation, she's a teenager. From what we, we were she's told, she's twenty. Abby. Well, that was at the time when the news came. I was. She yeah, was 19. Yeah, yeah, okay. So that's why I me mean, I had a problem with it because I was like, she doesn't really know. At 19, so I didn't know anything. Okay, so, so before you people say, Ari, okay, well, this is double standard. If people said no, that Didi and Lori can okay, be wait, together so about wait, this and this. Dug this pit. Now let's go there. So she was, because there. she was 19. So if she had, if she had been 20, one year, would it have been okay? I was, I, I was talking as like, at 19, I didn't know too much. At I don't, 22, I, did you know much? Well, to an extent, I have people that got married. My friends, some of my friends got married at 22. So okay. people mature differently. People mature differently. Okay. Yes, people mature differently. So okay. should we have blamed 
Regina Daniels, knowing that people were, were matured differently. That's where I'm going with this. Did you so, see that? Right? I wasn't even a part of that because, number one, I don't know what her exact age is. Mm -hmm. And I think that anything that makes you happy in this life, yeah, Do people it. will talk. But then what makes you happy? Where is that happy place for you? If that makes you happy, then you, you just you don't pay attention to distractions. Because here and in your Nigeria, you know parental I mean, you, approval you, you is just a big move on. Yeah, yeah. And you, that's Parental the approval is a big deal, especially in these parts. Okay. But if the parents are a part of it and they go on vacation together, oh, fine, it's fantastic. Deal, yeah. It's not a big deal. Your right, happiness guys. is your responsibility, as I always yes, say. So yes. please, just do you. All right, all right, guys. Moving swiftly along on the show, it's time for celebrity birthday shout outs. Yes, here in Nigeria, Amedu Augustine Obiabo, aka Blackface of the now defunct Plantation Boys group, is celebrating today. Happy birthday, Blackface! Happy birthday, Blackface. Yeah. So we wish you the very best of this year. Yes, we do. Yes, and blessings. More wins and. Let's drama. All right, guys. Also okay. celebrating today is a retired American actress, writer, and former model. I'm a fan. She's popular for films like um, Charlie's I Angels and the Shrek film series. I'm talking about Shrek. Cameron Diaz. Oh, love, love, love her. Birthday. Oh, my goodness. I'm bummed that she's retired now because she was quite a big deal in her days. But yeah, it's all good. Happy birthday, Cameron Diaz. Happy birthday, Blackface. Happy and birthday. to everyone else celebrating today. All right, guys, and this is Streetville, where we bring you all the fun and savagery from the world of social media. Okay? Let's get right into yes, it. Ready. Thanks are you for ready? Asking. I'm not gonna I am not asking you, I'm asking Onipa. Only are you ready? Uh, where would you yeah, like, where they be like where they're the person that you have to found is not ready for you. <laughs> don't no. worry. The savagery has just No, don't worry, you're my friend. No, 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 no. Onipa, it's okay. Please just laugh. Once I say ah. laugh. So you don't have any friends. Oh, <laughs> <don't>. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ola Basi, Ola Tine says, I love how my elder sister is so ignorant and aloof of Nigerian musicians. Babe was talking to Mr. Easy for 30 minutes and didn't know it was him. When he left, someone had to tell her, that's better because you, you can't relate to celebrities as human beings instead of a fan. So when I saw this tweet at first, before I talk about Mr. Easy's response, I was like, ah, now wow. Okay. Then Mr. Easy, then Mr. Easy just came to Where? save us. And he said, 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Where? Because time is money, fam. Casting! Why you want to lie? You lie with scope. Okay, Do so. you think, wait, Mr. Izzy is not on Twitter, or you will not see it? Okay, hold on, Arike. So it might have happened. It might not be yes. up to 30 minutes. Yes. Hey, but Mr. Izzy The person asked. might not know. They might have had a conversation, yes. but not up to 30 minutes. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think maybe this tweet should have been, um, Babe was having a full-on conversation with Mr. Izzy and didn't know, as opposed to was talking to him for 30 minutes. One is very specific, suggests that she was actually checking the time. So was she checking two, the time? Exactly, two. Mr. Izzy, I don't know that he has two Please, reply messages. I'm doing here. Yeah, Please, can you listen to me? Until this girl replies, Mr. Easy, this thing's a lie. No, you Who is with me on Mr. this side? No. Got that here for yourself. Mr. Easy is selfless. Mr. Easy is um, nice. Mr. Easy is fantastic. I don't think that it's Only a big part, deal. I yeah, don't I'm saying so. that until <laughs> this girl answers Mr. Easy. Then we are here for the lying. selfie to take what? Linus. But you know that, but you know that is a brother that likes. Brother, you know that brother, that brother that... whatever. Brother, you are alone. Why are you lying? Wow. Uh, you are the worst. <laughs> okay, so you guys already know about Skopatumana. Yeah. Huh. So interesting fact. This one would bust your brain. <laughs> get around, get around. In Nigeria, fat guys from rich families are called biggies. But the ones from the poor homes are called what? Horrible. Horrible. I like it. Very interesting biggie. fact. Biggie, biggie. Biggie, special, special air. Uh, they call it biggie. You know, um, chef, um, salah son. Biggie, biggie. you know, recross too. Biggie, everybody was in biggie. biggie. But just go and be fat and don't have money. Horrible. Wow, this the, is the, so the, true though. The play is sounds like Horrible, yeah. Horrible, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, but this is true. And yeah, we have the shaming people here. No, I'm not like they are oh, they are coming for you. Please, we uh, uh, let me let me quickly give out my speech. Uh, we learn to unlearn, guys. I'm uh, sorry. Oh <laughs> we're unlearning, relearning. <laughs> As in the people that come for people the most are these people. But it's not me now. You this will is see and we told you that this is the savage dream. And it's not biggie that will come for you, Zorobo. Did you hear on Twitter? Did you hear when people were saying but that? But they fact they skin shame people that are skinny, they skinny shame them, they do this to short people. Why is it that? Only fast people in this life, they cannot take it. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That we should do to short people what? here. That's yeah. true. I saw Only that. God said that. I, I hope that people are putting faces to the dialogue in this. Whole no, world. because they said that short people, they cannot <laughs> go, you know, they cannot. But you, you can still come down. And then every time you're not coming, saying that. Uh, I don't know. My mommy used to call my brother Ego Lewa. 
and he's, he's one Ocon, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he you know those names, something like that. So I'm not body shaming anybody, but it's <laughs> All right, so someone said, if my husband texts you, please block him. He's the only one I have. <laughs> Help a sister. Let's not run ourselves mad. Okay. Please, if my husband texts you, just block him okay. immediately. Can I talk, Auntie? Yes. So, I saw this video. <laughs> not joke, Auntie. I saw this video where the wife was calling the side chick, and the side chick said, ah, are you disturbing me? Say, you're my sister, don't worry. I should leave him. I, I'm not disturbing you. You are the wife. I'm not taking your role. I'm just a girlfriend. You wash the clothes. Me, I will take care of you. I'm oh not the goodness. one that said you should be doing missionary. It's okay. It's oh fine. So come with it. Oh so my that goodness. I am just no. Stay in your just, just day your day. Make I day my day. I am the girl. He said yeah, day something. Remember that tweet that said something about how. Well, um, the moment um, they do this, you know that law that, I think it's in Liberia or something, that they said something about yeah, putting yeah. out a list of married men so that whenever you Google them, you see that they are married. And so it can't happen in Nigeria. But even if it happens in Nigeria, do you even the Liberia? All the slave queens will be broke. I, think, I, don't, I don't think, by the way, I have some interesting views about this. I don't think that you should put the responsibility of your husband's responsibility on, on somebody. the person who is the so responsible. It's, 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 it's a step into the whole thing. Please, when he messages you, just block no, him. No, what? By the time everybody blocks him, he will stay with one piece. Yeah, well, one okay, angle. That's the angle. <laughs> okay, so I saw this meme, and Finish I literally me. was rolling on the floor. Oh my goodness. So let's talk about the picture first. This guy <laughs> is wearing like, he has this hat, sunglasses, too much print on the t-shirts, dungarees, the stockings, uh -uh, the the sneakers. Self. Uh -uh. So what does he have in front of him? Ready to Do go out. Go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> they did not put bath buckets. You said bath. Onions. Yes, yes, no. bath. <laughs> we put onions and pepper. Where you are about to head out, but your mommy has other plans. Mrs. Olag Baello. <laughs> See, are you wear heels. Come and say, Chaban Tete Jata. Is that the one that is now wearing? With your fine clothes. Is that the one that is paining you? But this guy really kicked up. That's what's paining me. It, that's what is paining you. That's what's On me, that went on holiday at my auntie's place. And there was this guy that was eyeing me in oh the God. same oh compound. And so my yeah. auntie noticed. And she gave me this large curtains. You know when they remove the curtains from the oh house? Oh my gosh, I, I hate that, watching. by the way. But the thing no, is but that, I'm angry. You guys do what? The guy will even come and help you. you. Yeah. 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 That is no, what we used to catch boyfriend. I wish that we can sing. So the boy will be peeping from his window downstairs. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> watch and learn, learn, learn. Let me clothes. Let me wash. But you see this pepper one I can't do. No, it's not fair. And that guy really kicked up. And it's not even that like part. you see bath like right? a kid. Do you understand? And he's up with the bath. Mommy, it's not fair, okay? <laughs> Let him go out. I'm checking it personal, please. <laughs> All right, moving on. Someone, oh God, goodness gracious. This guy is in bed with the duvet sleeping obviously and he says I've been sleeping eight days because my girl told me I have to tell her who Amanda is when I wake up. So you know hey. so there's everybody who this guy cheated on his ne girlfriend you and never probably wake. the girlfriend found out like oh, who is Amanda? Don't worry, sleep. When you wake up you tell me where she is. Bro is still sleeping eight days now. So because now I wish Amanda took this one. <laughs> you know that I think that this guy should just cook pass from sleep to because what? Either way when you wake up it's over. When you sleep, just go. Like that eight days, I'm sure. If, if this were a full picture, you see her by the tip of the bed. She's like this. <laughs> so, what do now? You wake up. So it's the case Boom. of it's the case of when you are worried, you have problems, and then <coughs> you're using alcohol, so like so you drink yourself to stupor, and then oh. you think the problems will go. When you wake up, the problems will be right there. Just keep of. sleeping because exactly. me, I'm at the end of the bed. I'm being like this. <laughs> oh my gosh, are you okay? I just picture the Yoruba movie scene like that. See what? And I'm telling. For that eight days, your friends are not calling you. Back. Bolo, where are you? I know you. I'm oh. <laughs> Unfortunately, if your friends are aware, they're not like Alpha. You don't answer. <laughs> He's still sleeping. Oh my soul. <laughs> Keep sleeping, bro. You will still wake up. And when you wake up, you will still die. <laughs> <laughs> so that's who that you die now. See, you get. I get. Thank you. I can't even. I'm so tired. <laughs> Guys, that's it on Streetview. We'll take a break now, and we'll be back with our very first artist performance. Stick around. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I'll go by the name to B to the VRP, B V Links. Alright. Yeah. Okay. One, two, go. Kick it. Yeah. 
a carnival. Any time that we turn up, party animal, and we steady they burn up. It's a carnival. Any time that we turn up, party animal, and we steady they burn up. Come in the weekend, come in the morning time. I've been waiting for my, waiting for my dawn. Come in the weekend, come in the morning time. I've been waiting for my, waiting for my dawn. To give you the loving, come down for you. Come down for you. Come down for you. Come down, you give me the love and love. Come down for you, baby. Yeah, come down. Oh, oh, come down. Wangele, 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 baby, yo, baby, yo. I'm a little wangele. One day they tell me to zombie yo, zombie yo. The way you set it, yo, the busting up in my brain, yo, baby, yo. I'm a little wangele. Your body they tell me to zombie yo, zombie yo. Fill up my hands, you give me energy. I feel the chemistry. For your body, I go by person now. Fill up my energy, baby. You give me energy, my life. I feel the chemistry. I, for your body, I go by person now. Yeah, come down for you. Come down for you. Come down for you. I, come down. You give me the love and no. Come down for you, baby. Yeah. Come down, oh, oh, come down, you give me the love. <clears throat> it's okay because the owner of the song is here, so he'll sing it for you. He already did, actually. Guys, that was Beavlings featuring YC with Come Down. And of course, earlier you saw Big Beavlings perform that. Your name, eh? <sighs> Welcome to the show, Beavlings. I don't say the name now, it's too much stress, but you guys just pronounce them well. Can Do a tongue twister with your name. Five times, say your name five times. Be blessed, be blessed, be blessed, be blessed, be blessed, be blessed, be blessed. Yeah, I say, believe in it, believe in it. Say, believe in it. So you chose the name, not test it with Tom Christa. But how did you come up with the name, though? Okay, my, What's your real my, name? my real name is Bonaventure. Eh? Sorry? Like, Bonaventure. No way. Like in real life? Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, is it like Bonaventure? Or yeah, Bonaventure. But most people be a Bonaventure. Okay. Like, depending it's on. It's French? Yeah, it's French. So, like Saint Bonaventure. Okay, okay, okay. Why yeah. didn't you now use that? Huh? Because it's already... It's really cool. There's yeah. no one in the industry with that name. There's oh, no yeah. one with that name and it's really, really cool. I felt it was too long and... <laughs> Beavlings, it's not long? No, it's not that long. I Bonaventure is long. Like. But anyway, the brand is Beavlings, so it's not a business. You have heard it as nothing <laughs> in your life. Okay, so you featured YC on mm. Calm Down oh, and yeah. I really like the song, actually. It has a vibe. Thanks. And I think YC was a good idea for a feature. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm curious as to how you came to feature him because um, I saw, uh, heard about an interview that you did where the presenter asked you why you featured YC and implied that it was because YC was a cheap option. But uh, yeah, 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 I'll it tell you about it later. Wow. But I'm curious about why it was YC you chose. Was it an intentional thing or was it just that it was available? I mean, it's not a f bad question to no, ask. No, it's a matter of choice. I, l I love YC like from the onset. Okay, like, okay. YC has been doing very well and you know, when you are coming up, you're like, okay, these are the people I would like to work okay. with. Work with. Mm. So working with YC, it's not just because they said he's cheap or no, he's not just cheap. Because we know how talented, how he is. talented and how we, you know, get to bring him to, you know, put him you know, on that record. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was an expensive picture. Yeah. But I like the vibe. With in some terms and conditions, you know, court lawyers and, you know, trying to make sure that... That's everything. not cheap. Yeah, oh. that you don't fuck so with... So that's not cheap. Hey. Okay, so it's TV, but then yeah. that's not cheap. All right, um, I, I watched the video and I liked I liked uh, the Calabar vibe. vibe story. Yeah, the, you know, like the Calabar Carnival, Carnival mm -hmm. thingy. Yeah, yeah, so a... tell me, uh, who directed the video? Okay, it was directed by Dami Twitch. Twitch. Okay. 
Okay. You thought it was TG, I mean. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because I know that that's the exact person who goes all the way. Yes. Like, okay, TGM you see what you're spending your yeah, money on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, mm. but, but it's, it's a very beautiful one. Okay. okay, so now I really want to know, when did you start this music thingy? Yeah, it's been, it's been a long time, but professionally I started 2017. Okay, mm. where are you from, if I may ask? Okay, I'm from Delta State. Okay. How come <laughs> they chose Bonaventure? I'm sorry, I'm so curious. <laughs> how come, yeah, how come they chose that name? When you're from Delta, were your parents like influenced by? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I I I was supposed to ask my dad that same question. Well, you didn't. Yeah, but well, you never I just did. I didn't I didn't have the uh, time to you know go go into more right. details. With, okay, so with since him. you started this journey in 2017, how's it been for you so far? How many singles have you dropped? How many EPs do you have? If you have any? Okay, this you is know. my second official single. Like, mm. I dropped one 2017. The way titled "Made in China." Produced by Prophet T, okay. and directed by Paul Gambit. Okay. Mm. Yeah. So what happened the whole of 2018? 2018, uh, I got some clash with my record label, so we had to, you know, sort ourselves out. Right. You know, before so starting another. Before starting another okay. All right, contract. Cool. Before we let you go, um, can you let us, let us know how fans can reach out to you on social media? What's your handle across all platforms? Beavlings, that's a Beavlings, B E E V L I N G Z. Z. All right, cool Thanks. stuff. All the best, Beavlings. Thanks for coming through. And I like Come Down. I wish you all the best with it. Yeah, you all must come down. Wow. I will go up. No, I will go up and join <laughs> the name of the Lord. Come down. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, it is time yeah, to move on. Don't worry. Thanks for coming Thank anyway. You. All right, guys, Daily Top 5 is up next, so stay tuned. What wow! Did what did she do? <laughs> I can't I I even swim. believe myself. <laughs> Guys, we're back for the second half of the show. Mm -hmm. Goodbye, haters. <laughs> Hello, lovers. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. So far, we've brought you the news, rewind, Tweetville, an artist performance, and of course, Daily Top 5. No! Which is happening later, guys. Daily Top 5 has not happened. I know I'm so excited <laughs> about Daily Top 5 because. I don't even have kids, yeah. I was talking about kids today, but anyway, we'll get to that later. Exactly. Again. All right, guys, and now it's time to cheer it off. In a minute or less, one of us will tell the house what she's happy for. It's yeah. happiness today, guys. Yeah, Thanksgiving Friday. No, I'm good people. Thanksgiving Friday. <laughs> <laughs> End of the month. It works. It works. So tell Are us, baby. Are collecting the offering after this? No. Uh, no. Are you taking me out? No. Be, oh, it's true. Oh, OJ, OK, I was going to tell you. You all lunch, so it depends on what you're happy about, right? OJ finally said it live, that he wanted 500 naira food. OK, so so will you get us 500 naira food? Yeah. OK, one five. If I know, if I cheap It's OK, now. just drop it first. So what are you happy about? <laughs> OK, so um, two days ago, my dad turned 60. Yeah. And I'm just so happy. I'm grateful to God that, you know how your bad people say, emito jion, won yo jion, but like you have labored, you will, you, you will rip the fruit of your labor, like you've labored so hard. And it's just like things that, his dreams, I mean, every parent's dream is to, you know, rip the fruit of their labor. Mm. Maybe I'm not yet a billionaire or something, but you know, seeing us out there, especially for the fact that I, I used to be a problem child, like growing up, I was that problem child. Like I used to make- You used to? Yes. Okay. Well, uh, well, funny part. I used to. Yeah, I don't continue, have continue your so the ones that we see now. I know, and you know, the, on, on his birthday, he looked at me and he said, "I can't even believe it mm. that you're like where you are." And I'm like, "Daddy, oh. I can't even believe that you're 60." You know how growing up you think that 60 oh. are, that's the age that most parents always pass on and everything. Oh. And I'm just grateful to God that he's alive, he's doing well, he's amazing, and he's just. We I love you, Daddy. Are grateful on and your behalf. Yeah. It's, it's, it's Congratulations, interesting to see your Daddy. Grow. Happy birthday. Yeah, it, it is interesting to see your parents Our get older. I remember when I started seeing gray hair on my dad's. Yes. And I was like, I said to you, I was like, Daddy, you're getting old. And I was like, Are we mates? What do you expect? <laughs> like, oh, my anyway. Daddy did not just call you out and say, Come here. <laughs> you say you have gray Exactly, because I have gray hair. So. On your head. Yeah. And now, too. Can the, yes, hello. Hello. Kaif, thank you so much. The reason you even did this one, so that we don't know the difference. Wow. Oh. I think it's time for a quick recap of it. I think you should go. You've, you've yeah, not a corner. Shall I have that Yeah, you have. You have, goodbye. Daily top five, how to chase people that you don't want. I think of your house. Man, that's what, see, you're in the streets. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, well, for like, you see yourself. No, you see yourself. <laughs> Guys, it's time for a quick recap of the entertainment news. Yes. yes.
<laughs> okay, so we started with Kayefi live in concert. Also, we talked about Yvonne Jagede as she announces that she's single and ready to mingle. All right, and finally, we talked about Nick Cannon, who shaded Didi. Mm. All right, guys, Daily Top 5 is up next, my favorite that I've been so excited about. So stay tuned, and we'll talk about it when we come back. Baby's on shortly. the way. And the end, no, and today is not my like, day. I See? Uh, today is just not my day, okay? Okay, okay don't stress me. This is not karaoke. This is splash. Okay. In case you're just tuning in. Where have you been? I like that. You well, should remember that when you're teasing honey pot. I just want you to know that. You should remember that it's Guys, it's all focus on me. It is time for Daily Top okay. 5. Fala Daily has been excited the whole show. Waiting for this Daily Top 5. And I asked the question. He said I should go away. Okay, it's all right. Well, it's that time of the year where your nephews, nieces, kids, and all the little ones around you have to return to school. Or maybe even start school. So for those wondering what is needed to get them prepared, we're here for you. Let's help you with five things needed for school resumption. Oh my gosh, September is almost here. It's See, already here. It's my niece cool. resumed on Monday. So don't even worry. Wow. Number one, school bag. Ah, God, I'm on this table. She told me to get up. Scuba. Okay, well, whether a day or body student, every child needs a dope backpack and, you know, that can house their books, their pen, and other important things. Now, so if your child is a lover of beautiful and bright colors, like, or they like cartoons like Ben 10, Frozen, mm -hmm. ensure you get them a backpack of such designs. You know, it would more likely get them excited about school. Yeah, and I think that's the thing my younger brother used to, used to give, trip my mom. But the school bag you bought for me is not Ben 10. I'm going to be like, Benton or not? And there's this thing my mom used to do that. It's not about how fine the bag looks. It's about what it can, can carry. carry. And it was in primary six. Like, all them, who go, all those books that I need. Make sure it's fine. Because my mom used to buy some cooler that. It's not even, I won't say food, yeah, but it's cooler. Yeah, you know those that are just... Cooler. I the parents who just know me because, <laughs> I mean, an adult now, but then looking back, I know that there were things I actually really wanted. Yeah. So I was a content child. Yeah, But yeah. the thing is, I, I liked some things on other kids. Yeah. Mm. Not that I did not have, but I wanted the exact type. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But sometimes the parents do just listen. And as Arike said, it is about what you can do. Yeah. You know, mm. and, and I think that. it's also important to say it's about what you can afford as well. As well so yeah. fine, you do want to get Benton and all that that can make your kids excited. Because they really can. I mean, there's a horse on this backpack, for example. It'll be on this lunchbox. It can make the kid more excited about yeah, school. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. also live within your means. So yeah. find cartoons that you can afford. Don't mm. go overdo, I beg. Yeah, because my parents actually made it known to me that yeah. early yeah. that you see. We are not a real yeah. So they would make me see reason. In fact, even in secondary school, when I wrote my list of provisions, they would tell me that if you want this, you won't have this. If you want this, you won't have pick this. One. So <laughs> I would not pick. So I had a choice to pick. All right. So shoes, sandals, and socks. Mm. Or shoes or sandals. Which one you want to go for? Well, you know how like kids feel when they wear new shoes or sandals with clean socks? Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. I'm sure we can all just relate. If you can afford it, buy them footwear. I mean, that are just so, you know, nice. This new school session or polish the ones they already have. Like, <laughs> I know children like, don't like, like to hear yeah, that. Uh, whatever you do, just do your best to make them feel neat and fresh as they go back to school. I know that guys don't need, like to hear that. Like, like polish. polish idea because it's also, and it's what we're just saying, if you can't afford to get new ones, maybe money hasn't come through or something. I mean, end of the month, maybe it's not end of the month, like your um, My niece. Uh, niece resumed on Monday and they might not have paid her mom, for example. So you have to also live within your means. And so if you polish like and then maybe when money comes, then you can buy it. You know the reason I said this? I, ha I have a friend who has a child who was saying he needed new and then the mom was like, did anything happen to the <laughs> one? <laughs> and I said, like, go and bring them out. Let us go and give to okay, need to yes. polish for us. I'm on to at the end of the <laughs> 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 They you. grew into their stuff for <laughs> you just knew that they will buy you oversized. Oh, then let me bust you. So growing up, we used to, my school we used to wear only cortinas, like you know, butter yeah, cortinas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what my mom would do is when <laughs> she cannot buy new ones, because we always want new ones every time. She would just say, Don't worry, the last sole was white sole, Abby. We'll go and give there's this guy butter. Oh my close gosh. to this, she'll just go and give him. He'll change it black soul. You They'll mean, think it's a new one. Trust me, and by the time she brings it home, ah oh God, that cobbler is your mom they is a legend. Yeah, we change it. Even me, I'll be like, is this the same shoe? She said, nobody will know. 
Wait, oh. that she will not buy me stockings with the lace. That one has lace. Look, shout out to parents out there, honestly. Yeah, it's not easy. Know, honestly. There's so much to contend with. And mm. then you're not only getting a child education, but you have to now furnish <laughs> it with shoe. And you just go to school, okay? Then they will come you know, back and give easy. you carpenter work. Yeah, it's not easy. It's my, not easy. My, so that's a, an affordable way to do it. The child doesn't even have to know. Change the school. Yeah. Change everything, you know? <laughs> All right, number four on the list, stationery now for every school child. Stationery is one of the most and most, most, most important items. Now, buy as many pens, pencils, rulers, erasers, sellotapes, mat sets, everything mm -hmm. in this world that you can get. The reason is really not far-fetched. It's of certainty that they would most <laughs> likely mislay some of these things. Yeah. Like me, every, I feel like every two weeks, that's my mat set. My compass and um, <laughs> yeah. those things, I don't know, they used to steal them. Yeah. I don't say, they never Protect get missing. Them. And protect yes, them. They, yes. they yeah. always steal them. So it became a struggle with like survival of the fittest. But even have? for adults, losing pens is something that's so easy ah. for us. My so. conversation, you know what I did? I wrote my name in my pen no? because I saw that every time they'll be stealing. Yes, <laughs> as a, yes, I put some Facebook. Hold me, please, for that. No, I, I, I had to, every time, every time I'm looking for pen, every time I want to fill the logbook, I'm oh looking for pen. Oh my goodness. Wow. But I like that. I, I mean, look, I whatever did. it takes. I, I did. Don't give them all the wow. pens that you buy at once as well, like she was True. saying, buy a lot, but don't give them everything. Mm. Keep it and then give them small when so they lose let's it. Let's talk about a pack of cereal. Apart from hey. food cereals, you know, apart from food, cereals are necessary for a child's breakfast. For a child who loves having, you know, um, something. was there something in the stomach, in his stomach? So it's just the fastest thing yeah. to make. So Excellent. I think that you should just have yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So that, you know, it will help your own time as the parents too. Mm -hmm, true. Exactly. Because the, rea the reality is you're rushing for work, things like that. Mm -hmm. So when you can't whip up something that long, then just do cereal. And it's something for them to snack on during lunch as well. Maybe after their meal, just put some dry <coughs> cereal grains. They love it because yeah, it helps do. your own time. They do. Yeah, it does. It does. <laughs> That's the one. It does. But I didn't like it growing up because my mom you used to like make proper food in the morning. So oh, when oh. we got to that point where she got really busy and she couldn't cook, I'm like, why did we marry you again? Can you remind uh, wow. me? Wow! The thing is, there are different types. So if you don't like <laughs> one, you might like... There are, they, you have variety. I wasn't of, just used to it until like later on in life. Oh, like, really? Okay. Even as adults, I still do that. Yes, so... I'm sorry, but let me hide my face. Like. <laughs> but yeah, it's the fastest thing you can make it's the in fastest. the morning. <laughs> All right, so we'll take a break now and we'll be back with our next performer. Stay here with us. <laughs> You are so concerned about me And you are madly in love with me And you make everything I do work out for me yeah. You are so concerned about me You are so concerned about me And you are madly in love with me for me yeah. you are so concerned about me and all you ever want is for me to let you love me all you ever want is for me to let you for me to let you to let you love me all you ever want is for me to let you love me and the lord i choose to let you i choose to let you love me i choose to let I choose to let you love me. I 
to let you love me I choose 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 to let you love me to let you love me <laughs> okay so the thing is i know that deborah according to yoruba is deborah but now this person has said that she wants to be addressed Debo, like Deborah, rise. <laughs> so you know that she's the third gender of, of that reality show, Big Brother Nigeria, and she's a great dancer and a singer. Welcome to the show, Deborah Rise. Oh, Debo, how are you? How is everything good? She said, I like the way she as if she did not threaten us. It's Deborah. <laughs> It's not it's Debra. Really it really fits you, like the Debo. Like Debo. Debo. It looks like, like the next thing I'm going to say is Wow. You don't know of the names. I call her Debora. 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 Welcome, Debora. Welcome to the Welcome show. To the Thank show. you so Good much. to see Thank you. You've been doing things online with the dancing and whatnot. Thank you. Nice. Thank you so much. It goes for something now. Now the things what they do. You know when you work out, when you go to the gym and work out and you have some energy wow. to dance. This you is pride. Yes. Put it into you. This is pride. Wow. <laughs> Only we that go to the gym <laughs> can relate. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh my some people cannot relate, okay? So let me have a conversation with me because we're on the same page. Do you understand? Gym now. <laughs> Don't be scammed. <laughs> who who yeah. told you? Yes, yes. Hey. So one time you said that your father had to do deliverance hey, because he went to this. No, because I was waiting to see you. One on one. Ask. So many questions. I know. Oh my God. Do you know how long I Do you know how long I'm trying to get you? That's what? Superstar. No, that's our star, though. No, that's not. You, know you knelt down. He laid hands on you after BB Niger. Okay, so the thing is, uh, you know, sometimes uh, when, you, when, you, when you say these things, they just cut out. And okay, then, okay, okay, okay. It, okay yes, and then it comes off that way. Okay. So the thing is, uh, Okay, I was not supposed to. How do I? Where do I start from? Anywhere. Okay. All right. So we are not allowed to watch the show in my house. Oh. To even watch it, the former ones, you know. So when Popsy comes home sometimes and it's, I well maybe then we're not up to it you know, or whatever the case. But it's on. What are you people doing? Turn that thing off. You know, he's a pastor upbringing and because of some of the things that they sh used to show. So when I went through for the auditions and all of that, I knew that there is no way in this life that I will tell my father that I'm going to the house and he will say, I, I, are you all right? So the thing is, but I didn't want to now be rebellious because if he says don't go and you then end up going, that's mm. now rebellion. So I wanted to be the, I wanted to do it and come back and say sorry. Mm. You understand? Because I knew that I needed the platform at the time. Mm. Like, I really needed the platform. This was after Nigerian Idol, some time had passed and blah, blah, blah. So I just wanted something mm -hmm. else again. That's honest. So, so I went for the show now. I did not tell him. And I wrote a dear, dear John letter. Dear Daddy, as you're reading this right now, I want you to know I'm in South Africa. I'm grown. I can take care of myself. I can make decisions. Sorry, mm. were you not living together at the time? No, I was already in Lagos. I was staying Oh, okay, in Lagos. got you. And he's not. Yes, oh, yeah. So yeah got they, you. They, they are not in Lagos. So... And the thing is, the show, once you get um, to SA, your phones are collected, you know, there's no, no music communication. Really so he was trying to reach me. He couldn't reach me. But oh I sent the message so that he knows that I'm fine, like I'm in safe hands. Well, it was not as harsh as I just said. It sounded very nice, like, Daddy, please, I just want you to know that I would be a good girl, blah, blah, blah. So next thing is, I heard that the organizers of the show, like, he reached out to them and, you know, tried to... You should She's, come back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm still bearing his son name. Just wait. Because <laughs> we have I like this commercial break. And just, this, this has reached the point that it's sweet. <laughs> Let's go on this commercial break, guys. We'll come back. Right. We're we'll this together. Welcome back, guys. <laughs> if you don't know what's going on, where have you been? Because you're missing. Well, we told Deborah Rice to hold it because she was telling us something interesting about herself and her career and the <laughs> whole Bibi Ninja and her daddy. Yes, we have Deborah Rice in the building. So I know and I'm already stopped. talking to her hey. because I just want to listen. <laughs> OK? I think we all remember the last line. Stopped. Yes. I know where you stopped. It's the organizer of the, the, show. Of the show. Okay. We are being like market so, women. We like this. So you know, because I talked about um, the show and what it was, he Googled it out, looked for their names, checked for a number, and called. Asked What's if they after the show or during, Bef during as in while you were so. just before I entered the house. Okay, got you. Just before I entered the house. So um, 
the next thing, as in, do you have any body bearing my name in their custody because I am still his daughter, I still bear his surname, mm. and he has the power and the rights to dictate and blah, 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 you know, but it just, my dad, my dad is very energetic. Like, we if I have energy, tell. you can just believe I took it from my dad. Mm. So the next thing they call me um, out, um, oh, like, yeah, no, we're not, we're not yet, yes, in exactly, yes, we're not worry, in the house. I know. Oh, you understand this thing? Oh. Mm. <laughs> so, so basically, Shia, the Shia called me, I said, what, what's your relationship with your dad? I'm like, oh, we're fine, we're cool, he's supportive, this yeah, and that, like, just so that, one. and they're like, okay, so he wants you out of the show. Eh? Ah, we're so like, cool. I was like, how did he, even, how did he even get through this thing? Because I was like, once I'm in the house, like, you can't reach me anymore, and then when I come back, I'll just come and apologize, please forgive me. No, no. So at so, that point, what happened? Um, to cut the long story short, I was ready to leave South Africa. Like, I was like, okay, that's... Like, I tried to, but I know, even myself, what I did, myself. He was very angry. I, I couldn't even talk. You know, as in, you know, when, when my daddy was so angry that it was almost... His voice was shaking from this kind of... Uh, he felt bad, like... Is it, yes. And plus, uh, what would you even tell me? Is that how you think I am, that I won't understand? But I was like, I know you wouldn't agree, and I don't want to still go after you said no, and blah, blah, blah. Mm. So we, this happened for like three days. We were, not, we were not with our phones, so we had to go to the head office, myself and the chaperone. We were all blindfolded while this was happening, so it's not like I saw anything. Saw mm -hmm. anybody. And um, um, by the third day, I decided to, hey, I hope he's not listening to this, because he will not understand what I did. So there's this reverse psychology thing when somebody's like, get out of my house and then you're really really about to leave and the person will now say come back so i was like okay i'm going to say this is what you want i'm going to come back home <laughs> like i'm going to come back and I said, so what so, said, so what do you even want Seth? so i now started i just promised him that i was going to be i was going to represent yeah. god well represent him well represent myself, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so by the time you now came back home you know when you're in the house you forget all the things you told you i promise your daddy when there's night party you twerk do things, everything. Hey, so even eviction period, eh, my fear was not as far eviction was what is waiting for me in the house mm. because my dad is a pastor. You understand? So I don't know. And there are verses in the Bible that says if your bishop is not coordinating the house well, you cannot even do that, all those kind of things. So I had those fears as well. Mm. So after the show, I was just happy that at least I made it to the finals. Mm. Okay, thank God. Maybe ah, if they say I won none, I just carry some more money and just give. Yeah. It. But do you yeah. think that what happened made you get to the finals? Ah, man, I don't know. I think I, I don't even know how to answer the question. It's possible that um, if none of this happened, I would have been more uh, laid back and no, maybe more wild in the wild house. Wild, okay. Maybe. Right. Maybe. Right. Okay. Or it could have, and that could have made me stay longer, win, well, or even part of the deliverance. You are not going to. Okay, so that's the part now. After I came back from the, <laughs> so after I came back home, my home, my welcome home party or homecoming, you know. Yeah. yeah, that's that's what it's called. So when I saw my dad, I was I was seeing him for the first time after the show and I was so afraid. Like mm -hmm. I was not sure what to expect. And then he hugged me and said, You made me proud. Oh. Like I just I just started crying and all of that. But we had some other pastors in the house. You know, it was a it was a welcome home thing and big brother it was it's a big show. So they all came around and you know, we pray a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Let me try and explain it. So there was a kneeling down process <laughs> where they are praying for you. But it was not like it was not like Father, we it's not like we bind every demon. It was what just was it like it was more like <laughs> I don't even know. It was more like um you will not Prayer stray prayer. from the from grace the of, of God, God you will not you will not be carried away and all that. So there was that moment of kneeling down and you would whatever it is that is making you to want all these things like that. I feel like we should even move away from the house yeah, since a lot of Yes, yes. I yes. want to say something. So, um, before the house, mm -hmm. I've, I mean, I, I met you before and then you performed and you, yes. you were not doing gospel music. What happened? Why, why did you switch? Is it because now it's like, Daddy, I'm out and I promised to make you proud. So, if it's gospel music, so be it. Is that the as situation of, or what? As a matter of fact, he, he is even very shocked at everything happening because um, this is this has nothing to do with well doesn't have anything directly to do with some kind of advice from him or anything I just think really in the end there was there was always this um, this purpose I feel like I had to fulfill that I feel like I have to fulfill so it's um, even right from time my music was always um, 
calm, calm alternative, yeah. Uh, yes, you know, I'm here to stay, love songs and all I of that. that. But then with growth, yeah. there is a thing called purpose. There is a place of focus where you know that there are there's just certain things you have to do. When you see life and you see death and you see pain and you see some things and you're like, there's just some, some, there's a kind of message that when you're passing it across, you can feel a fire in your heart. You're not just you're not just on stage to show that oh, uh, you know you can do this. You're you're really intentionally reaching out, well, that's and that's where it came. Sure. Yeah, that's that's sure. And that's where all of this just came right. from. Yeah. Came and, from. and I feel I feel more alive. Mm. Mm. Wow. Seriously, right? so I like that. Deborah. Deborah. I'm so sorry. Deborah. <laughs> it's a, it's a Deborah. Hebrew name. <laughs> Listen to me. Yeah, thanks. You can call it Deborah. Whoa. I don't have that time, Debo. <laughs> okay. okay, so, Deborah, yes. now that um, you're Gustav, here, Gustav and music. I mean, I want to know what do you see in the future? I mean, how do you see your future? What exactly are your plans? I mean, apart from all this that you're doing at the moment. Okay, so the thing is, I, I have a movement. It's um, Rise Us, Rise Us Nation, as per I'm Deborah Rise. Plus, Rise is really my last name. Okay. Although, Rishi. Rishi. Mm -hmm. Why are you like this? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the thing is, um, I, I look at helping a lot of people rise. A lot of people rise. And the truth is, just by myself, whatever message it is I have is not strong enough to lift some people from, from some really dark places or, um, you know, people that have certain terrible issues. Like, you don't even, when you hear real life issues. We're not talking just drop money and have fun. All of that too is important, you know, people being happy. So um, this whole thing, this whole thing is just to help everyone around, around me, right? I started something like this 2017 after the show. I went on a nationwide tour. We were able to visit like 12 states in Nigeria. Mm. And for all the states, we went to secondary schools. We gave out guitars. We had um, um, concerts. In those, in, the school. in those states, no, mm -hmm. ap from, apart from the school, we also had concerts in, in those schools, states. in the states, sorry. And then I shared my platform, so to speak, with people who had a talent, you know, an ability to do something. So it's just my dream to just make sure that everybody rises. Where I have um, some apps that I'm planning to launch. I have websites and, you know, just things to just help people. Be are, you personally, you go. are you personally funding this or? Well, for the, for, for the tour, I, it, was, it was the first one. So, you know, most times until you do something, something. before you can have people to come believe, on board. Yeah, yeah I'm, come absolutely. Board so, so for now, mm -hmm. I have had to do all this myself. But I believe moving forward, I have a concert coming soon. It's going to have a lot of dancing. And, hey, and by the way, when, when I say I do gospel. Okay, because that's where I was going. Mm -hmm. That is your gospel going to be um, strictly gospel? <coughs> or so um, this woman, this gospel singer, Tasha Cobbs, she yeah. did a song with Nicki Minaj. I think it was last year or the year before. Yeah. And people almost killed themselves. So are you going to, are we going to see like a Deborah Rise featuring YC? Or, a, or is this strictly gospel people that you're going to be working Okay, with? so the thing is, whether or not I do gospel, I don't just make decisions based on um, um, a feeling that I have. I have to make sure that it's intentional and there is a reason, like, I, it, it, as the spirit leads, if you know what I mean. Yeah. 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 It's your spirit, so, it's okay to be led so, by it. So at the time, when it's time for me to feature people, when I feel like there is, it's, it's necessary, like I, I would be sure that it's necessary and then I can feature certain people. I don't even know who I will be featuring. But the thing is, I want, um, the, wh when I say gospel, it's really in the message, you know. Ah, no, it's, uh, I get you. It. So, the, so, um, um, <laughs> like we look well. No, 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 not that. <laughs> it's, okay, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> not that. So when, when the Bible says the Spirit of, of God is upon me to preach the good news, yeah. to help those who are depressed come out of depression, those whose eyes are blind be open. What blind eyes being open means is just more information. Yeah. Mm. So you're speaking more information, letting, letting people understand who they are, who they really are, the power that they have, letting people understand more about their country, they're letting people understand more about their health. I even have a workout show, it's called Gym and Be Sexy. And when I started that, people were like, how can you have a show called Jim and be sexy and your gospel, you know, it's contradicting yourself. It's a full package gospel. It's okay. everything wow. put together. Wow. We're not going to just um, be, it's, it's not a box. People think that when you say you're yeah. a gospel singer, it's a box. Actually, it's, if it is a box, then that means it's the box that contains every everything. other box. Yeah, the preach, honey. That's yeah. what it is. So, so it's, a, it's, it's a fullness. When, we have our, when I have my concert by the grace of God, you're going to come, you're going to be entertained. You're going to be like, oh my goodness, this was mad. This was a 
perfect performance. But then I'm not leaving your soul and your spirit out. You're going mm. to you're going to leave that place feeling so fired up, like goodness, I can do so much, you know. All right, so thanks so much, Deborah. Oh, Deborah. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Deborah. Is it your Deborah. name? I know. <laughs> it's. Uh, I'm sorry. It is just um, by default. I so, know. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> so thank you. I mean, we wish we could just have you here thank and you. then we gist and gist, but then don't go <laughs> yet. So after the show, we'll continue the gist. <laughs> thank you so much. All right. So wish you the very best. Thank you so much. And wow. Mm. We hey. All right, guys, welcome back. And that, the, well, of course, the last song you checked out was Paris's Majesty. And before that, we got the other self requests. And I think we have a winner hmm. yes. for this week. And it would have to be the landlord who, or, or Gal Landlord, as he called himself, because he put so much thought into acting out a script. And about, then he went yeah. for a costume too. Yes, yes. Remember, <laughs> I mean, that's an mm. effort. Yeah. That's yeah. an effort. All right, so you are a winner. So come on over to the studio, come down to TVC to get your ticket to go see Hubs and Shaw. All right? All right. Okay, guys, before we go, because it is time for us to go, we have to talk about the week. How was the week for you guys? What was your high point this week? Wednesday, yeah, Wednesday. the show. Um, first of all, funny enough, funny enough um, the news won. Then your look. I just felt like we all oh, looked colorful I didn't plan that on Wednesday. Just... Like you had the red hair and the red dress and the white hair, and they were giving us the Kalisi slash Kayefi vibe. Wow. <laughs> you wow. know. Continue. I like that. Um, the countdown, you already know. Now, when the whole gang is in the studio, that's when my energy is pumped up. Like every time my energy is pumped up, but on Wednesday, it's just on another level, and I really like that. And I like the fact that. <laughs> With our countdown these days, there's always a struggle. So, you know the thing I said about tweeting to us to pick who your yeah, favorite person yeah. is? So, I've been looking at the poll. I see you guys doing it. It's okay. okay. So, that's it for All me. Right. All right. How sure. about you? Okay. So, it was Thursday, obviously. I love Thursdays. I always look forward to Thursdays. So, like on Wednesday afternoon or morning, I put my outfit somewhere. <laughs> so, I'm passing and then I'm smiling. <laughs> Tomorrow. Like it's I'm day. looking forward to Thursday, like there is a party going on. And I just love the old school vibes. I love our daily top five. I love everything about Thursday. And that's just it for okay. And Waji was here yesterday. Yeah, exactly. So I was beefing you guys, by the way. Uh, I think it had to be yesterday for me as yeah. well. Mm -hmm. Throwback is a vibe, honestly. But every day of the week is important to us mm -hmm. here on the show. And much thought goes into every single day mm -hmm. for your viewing pleasure. Like today was no different. So thank you guys for staying tuned from Monday through to, to Friday. Friday. You guys are the best. My mm -hmm. name is Fala Dele, and of course, they will come here way again next week. God willing, stay peaceful. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it is your girl, I care with the dimples, and I say, be safe out there, guys. Enjoy the weekend. Go for all the old one Invite me too, okay? Uh, Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> My name is Honey Pots, and well, of course, we'll be back bigger and better on Monday. God's From me to you, I God's love you. Yes. Yeah. See you on Monday.